Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will show you how to solve the common issue with Dell workstation uh, PCs and some, some other devices, but mostly Dell workstation machines have this issue. Uh, by default, in their BIOS, their drive set, settings is set to a RAID kind of uh, control. I will not go into detail now explaining what is RAID or AHCI settings. Uh, but what you need to know, you just need to change that. That drive settings and everything will be fine. As you can see in the video, when this machine resets, when BIOS is reset, it goes to the mm -hmm. default and it won't start. There are a variety of errors that will show you, but the solution is quick and easy. In my particular case, it's even go to the blue screen, blue screen of that, with common error that it something like it, it can't find a system source or something like that, and it will now reset itself. It's common problem with this kind of machines, but it's easy to fix, and I will show you a couple of moments later how to do So after entering the BIOS setup, in this case you, you enter it with F2 key. Uh, what you need to change is the section under drives. There's a SATA operation, and you need to set it to RAID Auto Detect AHCI. That's what you need to change, and that will solve the the, this issue. In this particular case, I need to change other stuff like enable hyperthreading, and I just need to disable these all error messages at the beginning just to go straight to the boot. But the most important is this you just need to change the, it probably says RAID option, you need to change it to H, uh, AHCI, and that will uh, solve your issue. It will go straight to the drive uh, to boot from the drive that is uh, there is system on it or SSD or hard drive, and you will so you will solve that will solve your issue. Now I will show you the, in my particular case the problem is solved. Now it's booting the system from my SSD, and everything should be fine. Yes can see it goes straight to the windows to desktop and everything will, works perfectly but that's the common issue with these L machines every time the boots are reset this it will go to default and it will do the same thing I hope that I hope that this was helpful and thank you for watching see you next time